Today we're going to discuss the most popular Class 1C student in the history of mankind, and one of the few characters to have their own Funko Pop, Hitoshi Shinzo. We're going to explain everything from his new costume upgrades, to what his future quirk awakening will look like, and we'll also delve into why one teacher at UA thinks that Shinzo could be his successor. But before we begin, this video will cover some information regarding Shinzo's development that hasn't yet been seen in the anime, but I'll keep plot spoilers to a minimum. That being said, if you really want to avoid any and all spoilers, then just hop on my channel and check out some of my spoiler free videos. Okay, let's get into it. Since the sports festival, Shinzo has added two new support items to his arsenal, one of which is just insanely overpowered. But in order to explain them, let's first remind ourselves what his quirk is in the first place, and what its limitations are. So Shinzo's quirk is called brainwashing, and it grants him the ability to control someone to an extent if they verbally respond to him. But as we've seen, the brainwashed person can break out of Shinzo's control if they receive sufficient physical contact, such as a nice slap to the head, or if the spirits of previous quirk users seemingly cause you to break your fingers. Though I think that last one was probably exclusive to Deku. In the manga, Shinzo explained a few things about his quirk that we didn't already know. For example, he's never tried brainwashing two people simultaneously as he believes that it would split his focus too much. Though considering he's never even attempted it, that might just be him underestimating himself. Additionally, his control of a person is limited in the sense that he can't make someone draw on their own knowledge. So for example, if he asked a person to write down the best arc in My Hero Academia, they wouldn't be able to do it because that would require them to think and then draw on their own pre-existing knowledge. Whereas if he held up a copy of the overhaul arc and just asked them to, I don't know, write the letters on the front page, they would be able to do that because it's just a basic task that doesn't require any real brain power. It's also worth noting that he can't command people to speak either. But anyway, let's move on to why you probably clicked on this video. What does that mask on his face actually do? Contrary to what you might initially think, this mask does not project Shinzo's voice or make it louder in any way. No my friends, Shinzo's persona chords modify the sound of his actual voice and allow him to mimic the voice of other people and pretend to be them. Like he says in this panel, the plates in the mask move around and alter the sound of his voice coming out of that little uh, box thing at the front, but let's see how this works in practice. In the Class 1A versus Class 1B arc, we can see Close A from Class 1B talking in this panel. Then we see Shinzo flick the white panel on the side of his mask, and suddenly he's talking with Kosei's voice. And he even gets this beast guy to respond to him and succumb to his brainwashing. In a real life situation, even if there are villains who know what his quirk can do, if he has the ability to copy the voice of anyone who speaks, then that enables him to do two things. Either he can use it to brainwash them by surprise, or his mere presence will stop the villains from communicating with each other out of fear of being brainwashed. Whichever way you cut it, that's an extremely useful thing to have, and exactly what Shinzo needs. Now, moving on to his second support item, that my friends, is Aizawa's famous binding cloth. In the sports festival, we saw that a race head described Shinzo's quirk as crazy powerful, and he said that the fact that Shinzo couldn't make it onto the hero course was an example of how the entrance exam was flawed. And given that Hitoshi is actively trying to transfer onto the hero course, it makes sense that Aizawa would kind of step in and teach him a few tricks. Now, the binding cloth took Aizawa five years to master, and he taught himself from scratch. This means that Shinzo actually does have a slight advantage over the young eraser head, given that he himself actually has a teacher in Aizawa. And this was exemplified in the joint training arc, where we could see Shinzo competently using the cloth to both fight and maneuver himself around. Check him out in this panel, he is literally swinging like Spider-Man. He also uses the binding cloth to pull down a metal pipe on top of this guy. However, it should be noted that this move wasn't strong enough to take down most villains, but regardless, we still see that Shinzo has pretty good aim with the binding cloth and can accurately shoot it at enemies, even if they're pretty far away. And he's capable of yanking them towards him, albeit not entirely towards him. Just give him a few more gym sessions and I'm sure he'll be able to. Now, moving on to why Aizawa is seemingly training Shinzo to join the hero course. It's clear that he sees a lot of himself in Hitoshi, which was evidenced by this panel in the manga, when Aizawa referred to them as the same type of person, that being someone who has a powerful quirk that isn't really oriented to combat. Shinzo obviously has great potential, but lacks a lot of strength beyond his quirk, and so Aizawa's kind of taking it upon himself to train him, in much the same way that All Might is doing to Midoriya. It's clear that Shinzo wants to be a hero who helps people, but unlike Deku and Bakugo, Shinzo isn't saying that he wants to be the number one hero, or the best hero. He's just a guy that wants to save lives. So in that vein, it would make sense if he followed Eraserhead's path, and became sort of like an underground hero who shines away from the spotlight. Fewer villains would know about his quirk, meaning he'd be able to catch more of them by surprise. Also, just to reiterate, Aizawa is a fantastic teacher 
teacher. So within a year or two, I reckon Shinzo will likely learn to master the binding cloth. And on the basis that Shinzo will eventually join the hero course, he'll be able to try out these new techniques when his class is getting attacked by villains every other month. Well, that's if they put him in class 1A anyway. And with that explained, let's move on to what a potential Quirk Awakening would look like for Shinzo. From my point of view, Quirk Awakenings either do one of two things. They either allow you to surpass the defined rules and limitations of your Quirk, or they add something new that you didn't even think about. In Shinzo's case, I reckon an Awakening would consist of one or all of these things. Firstly, his brainwashing wouldn't be able to be broken by physical contact. Right now, a light bump is probably enough to escape his trance, so an awakened version of Shinzo's quirk would mean that, no matter what happens, a person remains under his control, and the only way they can break out of his control is if he wants that to be so. Secondly, his quirk could activate without people needing to respond to him. This would make him so overpowered. What if he could just brainwash someone who simply heard his voice and all he needed to do was say a specific phrase? With that type of power, he could be one of the best heroes in the world. Just imagine if All for One was going crazy at Kamino, and instead of All Might needing to use 100% of his remaining power, all you needed was Shinzo to pull up and say a certain phrase and All For One stops dead in his tracks. I don't know about you, but I think that would be a lot more effective than getting into a fist fight with the guy. Thirdly, what if Shinzo was able to control multiple people simultaneously? This would allow him to take out entire groups of villains in one go. Imagine Shinzo was placed in a situation like the attack on the USJ. That was basically a small army that came to attack them. But if Shinzo was there and able to control multiple people at the same time, he could have taken out quite a few villains there and then. And generally, I think it plays into the notion that Shinzo himself is pretty useful for dismantling entire teams of bad guys by himself. Which is still the case whether his quirk is awakened or not, because with the Persona cause, he can pretend to be anyone he wants. But anyway, the fourth thing that I believe would constitute an awakening for Shinzo's quirk is that when he's brainwashing people, he should be able to get them to draw on their own knowledge. This would be next level brainwashing. Right now he can make people perform pretty basic tasks, but if he could make them draw on their own knowledge, imagine the possibilities. This could be used in quite a similar way to Shin Nemoto's confession quirk, and if you want to know more about that quirk, then check out my Shi Hezaikai explainer video. But yeah, I think if you can make people draw on their own knowledge, then not only can you find out people's secrets, but you can also extract information and then use that to take down criminal organizations. And finally, the last thing that I believe Shinzo's awakened quirk could include is the ability to project his voice. Microphones don't really work on Shinzo's quirk because they distort his voice too much. But what if Shinzo found a way to exponentially increase the sound of his voice and reach a large crowd of people? What I'm saying is that imagine his voice was so loud that he could speak to an entire stadium of people and then imagine if they didn't even need to respond to him for him to brainwash them. Shinzo's quirk basically lays the groundwork for something like this to be possible. Maybe I'm over exaggerating by saying a whole stadium, but still, imagine a large crowd. If Shinzo awakened his quirk, I reckon something like this would definitely be possible. But what do you guys think? Is there something else that Shinzo would be able to do if he awakened his quirk? And let me know in the comments what you think of the Persona Chords and the Binding Cloth. If you had to pick only one, what would it be? For me personally, I'd recommend that Shinzo stick with the Mask, simply because it's more tailored to his quirk. But that being said, the Binding Cloth does give him some options that would be better in a 1v1 situation. Like if you were in the sports festival and you saw Shinzo pulling up with that mask on, you'd know not to say anything around the guy. Whereas if it was a 1v1 battle and he had only the binding cloth, that would kind of make it a different ball game. But that's everything from me today guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as I'm trying to reach my ultimate goal of a thousand subscribers. And check out my video explaining Kirishima's unbreakable form. If you like this video and you hadn't seen that one already, then I reckon you'd probably like it. See you next time. Peace.